Ladies and gentlemen, I'm doing this video. Y'all might saw me do the fat boy to get down video, but this one is for George Lopez. The loca, the loca Lopez. No, no, what? I'm doing this video for George Lopez, cause y'all seen I did videos about him before trying to get on the show, but now this is goes out to him because I think it's bullshit on how that this is the second time he had a show and it gets taken away from this man. And I think it's unfair for this man to lose, lose th th this to happen. That this man worked so hard to get where he is today. Th this happened to him again because when he had his sitcom, he got taken away. He, got, he never had a last shot. They just canceled it. ABC canceled his show. Now... TBS is canceling his show, not giving him a third season or nothing. I said, these are only, look, I'm going to tell you this, these are the only time he could be the first banana. Because if you look at it, if you watch George Lopez's, uh, the, all the movies he's just been in, he plays second but second bananas to the star of the movie. He always plays second banana. And I'm sick of it, man, that this dude, every movie he gets cast in, he's playing second banana to whoever is the star of the movie. And I think this man has suffered through enough. He's got divorced. He had successful shows, but it's been taken away from. Y'all can sit there and say, well, he had them, uh, them, them specials on Comedy Central and HBO and Showtime. It doesn't matter. He's a great comedian. I think he deserves to have his shit, to have his shows, his talk shows, his sitcoms. I don't have to keep taking everything away from this man. Don't you think this man's been through enough? When he first started out, where was he? He was on Arsenio Hall. His first movie was called Ski Patrol. Look it up. 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 There's a movie called Ski Patrol. I remember this. It was back in the eight, not back in the nineties. The, the, he was the only Latino in that movie. And it's messed up. And I wrote a statement, a status last night talking about it said that he he losing his show because of Glee. I still think it's because of Glee. And this dude is not getting a chance to, ha to have his shit. It gets taken away from him. He's, he just started his show with few Two years ago, like two years, two or three years ago, and it gets taken away from. Now, if you was gonna cancel a talk show, at least cancel Letterman, Leno, Kim, Kimmel, Fallon, the Scottish guy, whatever his name, I click it in the boot and get it in all day. Cancel one of their shows so this man can have his show. He's getting celebrity. Like every time he has a guest on his show, they have all this fun. They have more fun on his show than being on Letterman and Kimmel and Leno and Fallon and the other guy. It's, they have so much fun because if he, if, and it's messed up that he loses. He got pushed back an hour. He gets divorced. Now you're taking away his show again. You're right. TBS is acting like ABC. They don't want to have, they don't want to let this man have shit. Let this man shine on TV. Let him have something. Tonight is his last night of having a having the show on, I think. And this man deserved to have this, man. If he can get up there and get his name recognized out there, at least give this man his dignity and his pride and let him have his talk show. You don't see many Latinos or Mexicans or Cubans with a fucking talk show, but you will see every, you seen every other minority with a talk show. There was Oprah, Montel, Sally, Jesse, Raphael, Donna, Hugh, Gerardo, uh, who else? Leno, Letterman, Fallon, Kimmel, the Scottish guy. No Latin, where's the Latinos? Who's going to speak up for the Latinos? George Lopez was the only one. Why take that away from him? If you can let the other minorities have a long-running show, why can't you let this brother have a long-running show like the rest of them? He didn't want, probably didn't want to retire from his show. This dude was 
shining when his show came on when his show came on TBS he was getting them hits because he knew what he was doing now y'all taking away from him that's kind of messed up that you taking this man's shit away again you gonna make this man make make this man snap because every time he gets something, it's been taken away from him. Why are you taking everything away from him? He grew up without his parents. He lived with his grandparents. Uh, Eric Estrada did him wrong, so you sitting up there taking away his talk show, talk show because he's not making it up. It doesn't matter. When I Love Lucy came on, they bitched about a Latino being on TV. They bitched about a Latino being on TV, TV with a white woman. They bitched about that. We don't need no other minorities on TV, but they allowed it because the show was going to get called I Love Lucy. So they accepted that. Now it's 2011, and a Latino, he's the first Latino to own a talk show host on national TV. Turner's Broadcasting so uh, Network, whatever, TBS, and it gets taken away from him. This is never going to happen again. You can see your blacks, your whites having TV shows, but you're never going to see a Latino have a TV show like this again or a Mexican have a TV show like this because y'all keep on taking away from them. Y'all, y'all probably, why don't he just go to Telemundo? That's being racist right there. It's like telling the black folks, hey, go to BET. This man don't need to go to Telemundo to have his own TV show. This man worked so hard to make a, his name, make a name for himself. Now it's getting taken away from him. It's, worth, it's bad enough. He's got to be sick of bananas in these movies. He can't have his own damn movie because they don't want to give him a good movie. Look, if I was if I was a director, he would have been casting all the movies I want to make. Not porn movies, but movies, man, where he can shine. Where he can have something in his have something have something with them something to be proud about he always bragged about the movies he did oh I'm happy that we did Smurf Marmaduke Beverly Hill Chihuahua he brags about it. he's proud of these movies but when he got that show he was bragging about this show now he can't brag about nothing because you're taking it away from him let this man have something he can be proud of he can't have it because everybody wants to take it away from him. Let this man have something in his grasp. Let this man have something he can sit there and be proud about. He showed everybody, hey, anybody can be somebody. You can come from a fucked up background and can be somebody. Look at George Lopez. He went from rags to riches. Where he had to swim in a damn trash can. He told everybody his story. His main story. He grew up with no parents. He lived with his grandparents. He had to swim in a, in a fucking trash can. He said that he got dissed by Eric Estrada as a kid. He said that and does nothing. All he does is comedy comedy specials. Can this man have one decent show for himself? Nope, he can't have it. Man, let this man have a show, man. Let this man have something in this, man. Let him be proud of something big. Man, like, hey, let him... Because when he went on Conan, he was bragging about having the best show he had. He bragged about that. He was proud of having that good show. Now he can't brag brag about that no more because TBS want to take that away from him. Let me on the network here. I'll let him be. Let him. Let me on a high big, big network. Hey, he'll have his TV show. And I don't think it was right for him for them to take that away from this man. He was having a steady job, been on every night, been on every night, telling jokes, talking to guests, making people laugh. That's all he wanted to do. But he can't do that no more because people want to take this stuff away from him. Like y'all, like y'all act like he don't deserve nothing. He deserves it, man. He worked all through the 90s to make a name for himself. Now you look at Bernie Mac, Bernie Mac Steve Harvey, Cedric the Entertainer, and Steve Harvey. All these 
the kings, original kings of comedy. They had to bust their ass to get the, get their name noticed. Now you look at Cheech and Chong, two different minorities, a Latino and a Chinese dude. They worked through all the '80s making weed and sex jokes, and they got the biggest names out there still. George Lopez still doing that. He's still trying to make it keep that name big. Now he can't keep it big because everybody wants to take shit from him. Oh, you don't deserve a talk show. You don't deserve a TV show. You don't deserve a sitcom. You don't deserve this. You got to be second banana. You got to make them look good. We don't want to make you look good. We want to make them look good. This man's been dissed so damn badly, man. He can't have nothing. Don't I know y'all gonna say, oh, it's a race thing. No, it's not a race thing. This this brother works so hard to get somewhere. He's trying to represent for his people. Like, he did, I watched a special he did. He said there was only three Latinos that's been on TV. Desi Arnaz, Freddie Prince, not Junior, but Freddie Prince, and him. Even Freddie Prince Junior had his own touch. That's for Latinos over through history from the 70s all the way to now. That was the only Latinos on TV, so... Let this man have his show. Let him keep his talk show. Let him keep a show long enough so he can be proud of it and show the world and show his daughter that hey, you can be anything you want. If you don't, This has been Afro Joe, 10 Like a T.I. is. If you don't like what I got to say, you know what to do. Move along. Don't leave a comment. Don't watch the video. If you like what I got to say, give me a video response or leave a comment. And I, I would love to hear from y'all. Peace and a bottle of air grease. Yeah, yeah, yeah.